there, church, and there, church family. Uh, we bring you some exciting news today. Uh, we are returning to on-site services on Sunday, May 24th. Uh, we are still going to have our online services as well, uh, but we will have that on-site option uh, as of this coming Sunday. As we do return on-site, uh, we want to make you aware of some recommendations and guidelines and policies. Uh, and so please check those out either on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll have that attached with this video. On our YouTube channel, just below the, in the video description, uh, on our website under the COVID-19 updates, or you will find this document, this PDF, in your email as well. I uh, want to just kind of hit some highlights today of those things for you. Uh, and then, above all, I want to encourage you with some things from the Word. And so, uh, stay tuned for that. Let's go through the, the, uh, the, the boring stuff. No. Uh, let's go through some of these, these things that we need to implement, and then let's hit on some encouraging things from the Word. Let's do that. Yes? Ready? Let's go. Uh, just want to tell you, these days are uncharted waters for us. Uh, and we, as leadership, you as a church, our county administrators, we're all entering into this, this unknown, if you will, uh, trying to make the best decisions that we can uh, possible. And so as a church, I just want to encourage you uh, that in this time, we want to encourage one another. We want to love one another. Uh, we want to continue in our unity. Uh, and we want to support uh, our county and, and uh, those people who are making very difficult decisions, uh, supporting them through prayer in this time. Here's some recommendations uh, for you, um, some things that we came up with as a board on Tuesday uh, and from some of the things that we're getting from the county and for, for some other websites. Uh, probably the biggest one is this, is that those that are 65 and older or with underlying health conditions, we are encouraging uh, to continue to participate via our online worship service option. Uh, if you decide though to attend a service on site, that is your decision. Uh, and uh, any health risk, of course, as you make that decision is your responsibility. And so please make that decision prayerfully, uh, but that is your decision to make. We're not making any mandates or any requirements or anything like that with that. Uh, just, just know that that's one of the recommendations out there. Uh, of course, if you're ill, please stay home. Um, we don't want to pass any more germs around right now. Uh, and the social distancing thing is a big right now. Um, please refrain from those handshakes, those hugs. I know, I know you want to do those. I wish we could right now. Um, but that's the recommendation that's going on uh, is to refrain from those things, that, that, uh, face to, or that physical contact. Uh, please give an enthusiastic smile, uh, an enthusiastic wave. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. And let's use those right now as our greeting. Uh, I, for personally, just being in each other's presence is encouraging enough. Amen to that. Yeah. Um, just some guidelines or, or rather procedures are going to be taking place. We will be cleaning uh, surfaces very thoroughly in the building. Uh, we will be sectioning off some places of the building, the nursery, the fellowship room, the lower level, uh, just to kind of minimize some of those touch points, uh, the common areas that we'll have to disinfect on a weekly and, and daily basis basis depending on how things go here. Uh, greeters will be stationed at the doors for you to keep those things open. Um, just in the midst of this time to avoid that's one more contact point and, and the offering plates as well. We're not going to pass those. There will be a box at the back of the room by the fire extinguisher and uh, if you want to mail it in uh, continue to do that. Uh, thank you for your uh, gifts. Thank you so much. We as a <clears throat> Excuse me. We as a church board have been encouraged by how God has used his people through this time. And as we've heard port reports of other churches in absolute dire straits uh, looking to government for loans, we are so thankful to the Lord. We're praising him for how he is using you in this time. So thank you for that, and may you be encouraged by it. Uh, seating, um, just so you know, those things, are we're going to section some stuff off and just be looking for that on Sunday morning if you do decide to come to our on-site service. Uh, and observe that six-foot rule between either your family unit or your couple unit or you as a single. Uh, it's about three chairs if you need a, a measurement and you didn't bring your yardstick with you. Uh, it's about three chairs uh, if you're in that row. Our communion services, of course, we're going to put a hold on those for the time being. Uh, but Paul and I are going to be coming out with a communion service video, uh, just specifically that, uh, that you can use either yourself with your small group with a few individuals in your home 
uh, that uh, hopefully will be very encouraging and beneficial to you in the coming days. Sunday, of course, if you're on site, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, our online services are going to look very much the same uh, through these coming weeks. On site, though, uh, we're just going to meditate on a couple of songs. Uh, we're not going to, you know, raise our, do our Buddhist, whatever. No, not that. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be listening to them, though. We're going to refrain from singing per some recommendations we've been reading, uh, at least for the first couple of weeks, uh, and then we'll take another look at that and make a decision. Uh, but there will be some time of prayer as well uh, and a message from one of us. Um, the newsletters, we're going to continue in that same operation as we're going right now. Uh, if you want to watch stuff online with your small group or with a couple individuals in your home, we encourage that. Uh, that's, a, that's a good choice. And... Uh, uh, please feel free to do so at this point. If weather permits, uh, we are going to encourage fellowship times to be held outside on the lawn or in the parking lot, at least for the, these first couple of weeks as we're gathered together again uh, until we uh, things move along on the county side uh, as, as those recommendations change. Uh, so please note that. I, I know we all want to be back in the fellowship room. Honestly, as the weather's heating back up again, maybe we don't want to be in the sticky room anymore. Uh, for a while. And so let's, let's spend that time outside. Let's enjoy God's creation together. Amen. And I want to leave you with five things today. Uh, I want to take, I know uh, time is, is short and uh, want to uh, use your time respectfully, uh, but please pay attention to these five things today, five R's, if you will, write these down, uh, be meditating and thinking about these things uh, in the coming days as we're getting back together again. Uh, first thing is this, don't rebel. You know, as believers, as a church, we are, that, that's something for us to consider. Don't rebel. We are first and foremost citizens of heaven, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. We are called to be ambassadors of Christ. And so let's use this time right now uh, to imitate our Savior and to be a witness before our community as we obey the Lord by submitting to those in authority, Romans 13, 1, Titus 3, 1. Uh, let's cooperate with our local government and our, our, with their guidelines, with their recommendations. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. Ultimately, my prayer through all of this and my, my focus so many times and thoughts so many times have been turned to being salt and light uh, by doing what we can, what we must to promote the cause of the gospel and the name of Jesus through this time. So let's, let's make those things our focus. Amen to that. Um, second thing is this, don't resent. You know, it is easy to harbor resentment towards businesses and organizations that may not be uh, held to the same standards uh, or that are not following the, the guidelines or recommendations that our county has, has recommended. Uh, there's other states that are experiencing uh, other things. I know in Illinois, where my folks live, uh, they're on complete lockdown. There are no gatherings at all anywhere allowed. Uh, and so we are, we are making a shift here as a state, as a church, and so we're thankful for that. Let's choose, though, not to harbor resentment toward uh, those other individuals that um, may not be observing some of these same things that we're doing. You know, and quite honestly, as believers, it's harmful and it's damaging to our spiritual health and to our relationship with God, James 3.14, uh, to harbor resentment. We are called to be peacemakers, Matthew 5.9, James 3.18. Uh, and to do that rather than harboring resentment, rather than being jealous and allowing those, that thing in particular to affect our thoughts, our attitudes, our words, our actions, which are then expressed before a, a watching world, Colossians 4, 6. Let us find our satisfaction in Jesus, our Savior, who will meet our every need, Philippians 4, 19. Third thing, realism. You know, even though the Supreme Court in, the, in Wisconsin has allowed businesses and organizations to reopen again, there's still guidelines, there's still recommendations uh, that we've been encouraged to follow and that we're encouraging you as well to follow to prevent uh, as much as possible transmission and contraction of the virus while we're gathered together on site. Um, on site services will not be uh, what they normally were for some time yet. Uh, and we need to be realistic about that. Uh, it, it's possible even that guidelines and recommendations could change in the future, which will require us to adapt. And so please be patient with us. Um, you know, we, just like you, we're in the same boat here. We, just like you, desire to return to normal, but we need to act responsibly, uh, not only to protect those who call GBC home, but also to be a testimony to our community as well. Uh, we don't want to... <laughs> 
be like some of the churches that have been in the news recently who all went back to church and all got the virus and then all sh shut down right away, okay? Uh, so let's, um, let's put some of those good practices into place. Uh, third th fourth thing, rather, is risk. While the virus does present, of course, physical risk to all of us in some capacity, some greater, some less, there's other risks, more serious risks even than that that we face as a church, specifically division and dissension. You know, as individuals, we all hold different thoughts and opinions, not only about the virus, but what actions should be taken and how leadership, even as a church, should respond to it. And if you don't believe me about that, just look at Facebook for a little bit. Uh, you will see all the varying opinions on stuff. But our enemy, the devil, uses situations just like these to cause disunity, to cause division in the church. And this is the reason why we are told time and time again to live in unity, 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. To be completely united, 1 Corinthians 1.10. Uh, to bear with one another in love, Colossians 3.13. To live in harmony with one another, Romans 12, 16, and to make every effort to keep unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, Ephesians 4, 3. This is a time to show that our common bond in Christ overcomes every obstacle that we face. That it is that common bond is paramount to our differences. And that it is the reason that we are united as a body of believers. And so pray for us as a body, for us as leaders that we might navigate these days successfully with the Lord's help, growing in our unity and bringing greater glory to his name through this process. And then ultimately our response, number five, to all of this. God is still sovereign. That hasn't changed throughout this whole process. He is not limited by these present circumstances. He is still at work and he has afforded us as a church new opportunities to connect online with and to pray for people uh, that we as a church would never have met had we not been through this time. I could tell you story after story of people who have said, thank you for the service, or thank you for praying for me, or we've been watching your services online and we've been so encouraged by them. So there's new opportunities that we have, have gotten or uh, obtained through this time uh, that have only... That, God has afforded us. It's only by his hand. There's been this renewed emphasis as well on, on caring for one another in a very creative way uh, amidst everything. And so please keep those things in mind as well. And just this, a couple of questions. Are we ready as a church for these new opportunities, for these new ministries that God may have planned even yet for us? Uh, and are we ready to be flexible in how uh, we can serve one another uh, and minister to our community? How can we be more useful to him in these days uh, that, they have con that they have afforded us uh, these, these new opportunities? I just want to close with this. Keep on keeping on. Uh, I know there's, there's, there's still a road ahead yet. It's probably going to last some stuff through the summer. So uh, keep on keeping on, though. We pray that this, this relax here of, of some things uh, will encourage you. Uh, and as hopefully we turn to some normalcy over the non months, uh, summer months, we encourage you to, to not give up on the time that you've been spending with your family, uh, with, with uh, neighbors contacting them, checking in on them, and even checking in on one another. Keep those things intact and in place in the coming days. Uh, we pray through all of this uh, that we might as a church run this race with endurance, continue to do so with the Lord's strength so that his name might be lifted up and be praised to our lives no matter what we face in the coming days we love you all we of course miss you all and we are looking forward of course to seeing you again if you have questions or concerns or, or comments uh, please feel free to reach out to us you know our information uh, thanks for listening today uh, we pray that you're encouraged by these things and uh, we look forward again to seeing you uh, until until sunday uh, god bless mm -hmm.